Welcome back everyone. This is going to be part 6 of our HTML5 and CSS3 tutorial here. And if you go back to our where we left off at access not it. This is where we left off at. We still need to do this right hand side here. Uh, we got some things done but we definitely need to continue on. And we're going to go with uh, styling these ad blocks here. Finish, basically finishing up this entire right hand side. And hopefully, on this tutorial, we'll go ahead and finish this footer off, too, because it looks really bad right now. But no worries. Well, let's get started. All right, so I'm inside my um, HTML file. And the first thing I want you to do is, I don't know if, I don't remember if this was in my last uh, tutorial or not. But I had an ending div tags that were here. Uh, they look like this. Uh, I want you to go ahead and delete those. Okay, I, that was a kind of a mistake on my part. The ending div tag is over here. Uh, so I put an extra one in there uh, in all these four. So if you have that in there, go ahead and delete that. Also, I named some things. I named this, uh, I don't know if this is my last part, but I named this medium 300 ad. I named this one small 125 ad uh, because you can't start your classes with numbers. Okay, so anyways, uh, with those few corrections in mind, let's go through our styles.css sheet. And let's go ahead and start the right-hand section here. I'm going to go ahead and pull my notes. Okay, the first thing I want to go ahead and do is, well, let's do that follow me uh, part there, which got all my YouTube, Facebook, and that sort of thing, Twitter. So we'll section, again, number, right, because that's the ID we gave it, div, follow me, and I want to target the table. And the following rules is going to be margin, top, and I want to give it 5 pixels. And the margin bottom, I'm going to give it 15 pixels. This is just going to give me a little bit of buffer space. I saw the reason for that. Now you could style a table even more, you give background color or something, but eh, just, for some, just for some basic stuff, that's all I want. Just a little bit of space. Uh, let's go ahead. Further on, let's get the uh, actual follow me, not just the table, but the actual follow me. Okay, and I want a border of one pixel solid blue. Now certainly you don't need a border here. I'll just put it there because it looks decent, so why not? And I'm going to target the uh, paragraph tag, so let me go ahead and copy this just to make it easy. And let's see, I want text align, I want to be center. And that'll, that'll fix that problem, by the way, with the YouTube being spaced out with all the other things. So, uh, as well as um, color, or I want teal. Uh, and lastly, let me copy this one more time. Well, probably a few more times, but let's do the follow me table tr. The rows. This right here actually is is what's going to fix the uh, spacing. My fault, not the paragraph. I guess it's going to fix that spacing with Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube icons. Uh, let's go with. Uh, I don't know, three, three pixels, whoops, three pixels. Padding, two pixels all around. And again, text align, we want to be center. Let's go ahead and save that, and I'll show you exactly what just happened. So if we go to our website, I what I, what I did is I targeted this right here. Let's go ahead and reload that. And we got ourselves a border, and if you notice, that spacing problem is nice and fixed. Now there's a tad bit spacing right here. If I really wanted to, I can give this a div, or, or an ID, rather, this TR tag an ID, and then I could space the margins to the left a little bit more. But I'm not too worried about it. It's not that big of an issue. Uh, if I were to sell a website like this, I, I would probably fix it, of course, but for tutorial purposes, I'm not too worried about it. Okay, uh, let's see, what else should we do? I believe that's it for that. I don't want to do the pop-up uh, portion yet. That's not until uh, till later on. So let's move on to the footer. 
And the footer is going to be really simple. I just want a margin. I'm sorry, a border. Top. And it's going to be one pixel. Solid. And it's that same... Uh, that same grayish color that I've been having throughout this entire site, which is 171 straight across. And I want text align to be center. Okay. Uh, I want inside the footer span. So I want the footer and the footer span. Uh, the anchor tags, that is. I want that to be uh, font size. We'll go with 12 pixels, but usually, uh, usually fonts are a little bit less than that, but that's fine. Padding, oh, let's go 10 pixels all around. And color, we'll go with um, give it a red, green, blue attribute. Yeah, let's see what values. Let's go 101, 101, and 101. And one last thing, go back to footer, span, A, and then it's going to be the hover. So when I hover over it, uh, it'll change colors. And I want color to be, uh, let's see, the RGB value again. And we can make it, I don't, I don't know, I think I put zero. One six seven one six seven. Certainly, you could pick whatever you want. And lastly, text decoration. Let's put underline, just to add a little zip to it. And that should be it. Let me go ahead and save it. We should almost be done. Reload. And there goes the footer there. So now we got the footer all set. If you notice, when I uh, go on. When I'm clicking on it, it changes the color just like I want it. Now there's a spacing issue here, and I'll I'll get I'll address that here pretty soon. But for right now, I want to go ahead and move on to um, the uh, video uh, as well as the uh, ad blocks uh, that are inside here. And let's do the uh, video. Uh, maybe this compare to I don't know. I might do something with that. And definitely these ad blocks. So let's go ahead and continue on. Okay, so I'm going to give some space here because footer is usually, you know, the last rules that you put anyway. Okay, um, let's see here. Let's go with us uh, again, section right, like we've been doing. Um, and we're going to target the uh, div add block. So I'm going to say div number add block 125 by 125 because that's what I called it put a styling rule in place oh I'm sorry I want to target the divs that are inside there and uh, let's see the rules I want to put in place are I want obviously I want the height to be you got it 125 pixels and the width same thing 125 pixels border We'll go with two pixels, solid black, just to give it that um, border effect there. Float everything to the left. And a margin of five pixels all around. And it should do it. And I'm going to do the same thing with the other one. So section, uh, number, right div number add add block 300 by 250 that's what I called it and I'm going to give it obviously a height of 300 pixels and a width of you guys probably guessed it 250 pixels oops 250 pixels and let's see what else oh yeah to border same thing border Two pixel solid black. Float left again. Margin five pixels all around. And 
lastly, uh, margin top, I want to give it uh, 20 pixels just to give it some space uh, so it's not, you know, butting against anything. Uh, so we'll go ahead and save that to show you what happened. And it should have uh, styled all this. Let's go ahead and reload it. And it did. Uh, so now we have our ad block styled nicely the way we want. And so the add down here. Uh, the only thing we need to focus on now is this feature tutorial. And maybe I'll mess with this. I don't know. So let's go to the next part here. And let's go section number right. I don't want to target the, uh, the feature tutorial. Um, I hope I didn't spell that right. Wrong, I mean. Well, I'll know if it works. I want to put a border of one pixel dot or dotted, rather dotted blue. Give it a width of 250 pixels, or I'm sorry, 290 pixels. And I forgot to put the colon in there. Just be typing a little bit too fast here. Let's see, height. Uh, height would be 250 pixels. That's what I wanted. Float to the left again. And real important, you want to clear both margins. Get clear uh, CSS rules, very important. So I'm going to go ahead and save this, and you'll see exactly what happened. And I'm obviously targeting this right here. So we'll get reload. And as you can see, I put that dotted uh, background here, clear on both sides. That's why it's over on this side, otherwise it'd be over here. And <clears throat> it's got this height and width to it. Now obviously there's still some things wrong. I probably want to put, I want to center it and all this other stuff. Uh, but for right now, let's go ahead and continue on. Let's go ahead and get rid of, rid of that extra space there. And, um... Let's see here. Oh yeah, so like, I want to go ahead and center uh, center that right there. Uh, so here's what I'm going to do with that. I'm going to go to my review website. I don't have this in my notes, so I have to kind of ad-lib this here. Uh, but basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my notes, and I'm going to look for my uh, YouTube video here, if I can find it. Where's my video at? There it is. Okay. Uh, and basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to target this iframe right here. Uh, and basically I'm going to do is I, put, uh, I didn't show this to you in my last part of the tour, but I put a div tag in here. And inside this div tag, uh, I'm going to be able to center this um, YouTube video inside here. So this is how we do it. I put a div there. And of course I ended the div right here. Um, also, I used this new, the new code, the iframe, um, which if you go to the YouTube and embedded feature, um, instead of putting the old code, I switched it to the new one because I thought it was a little bit better. So, I'll, you know, just some things I do as I'm looking at my code to make it look better and easier. Uh, so that's what I did. So that's what I'm going to do. So I need to go ahead and target this. Uh, so to do that, I would go to my style sheet. I would go to feature tutorial again. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this just to make it simple. And if you look at my site here, this is why I have notes, so I don't have to keep going back. If you look at my site, I have a div tag inside here. So it's going to be future tutorials targeting that div. So we'll go back to my styles. So I'm going to hit div. And what I want to do is I want to put a margin left of, let's say, 20 pixels. And I should have written this down, guys. And a margin right of auto. Let's save this. Let's see what it did. Okay, so it moved it to the center, just like I wanted to. So that's how you kind of uh, mess with things. Now, I'm probably going to go ahead and lower the size of this, because uh, I think it looks kind of crazy. Or I might just increase the size of YouTube video. I'm not sure yet, but I think I'll just go ahead and lower the size. Let's make it 220 pixels. Go ahead and save it. Hit reload. And there you have it. So it looks a little bit better now. Uh, again, I probably should have written my notes on it, but I didn't, so. 
Now I want to go ahead and target this uh, feature tutorial part on here, this header. Or I think it's inside a paragraph tag, actually. Actually, let me go ahead and see real quick. Um, yeah, it's in, it's in a paragraph tag. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and copy this. And I want to target the paragraph tag, just like so. And this one I do have notes for. I'm going to go to font, family, sans serif, font size, 24 pixels, text align, I want to make it center, color, I want dark blue, although it could be anything. Margin top, I want two pixels, just so it's not butting against my YouTube video, especially with the font I'm giving it. And text decoration, yeah, let's make it underline, just to make it stand out. So we get save. I'm going to reload this. And there you go, there it is. Now I probably should move it down just a little bit more because you can't see the underline. So instead of two pixels, margin top, let me go ahead and write, uh, let's say five pixels. It might be too much, but we'll find out. So I'm going to hit reload. Ah, actually it's not enough. Let's make it 8 pixels then. Save. And reload. There we go. Uh, it probably should be butted down just a little bit more, but that's fine for right now. So there's your feature tutorial part there. Um, so you, you know, person can click on it sort of thing. We did the ad blocks. Now there's one problem here, and that's this footer. Unfortunately, you can't just add margin top to the footer. I don't know why. But it doesn't work for some odd reason. So the way to fix that is you go to your center, section center, which is all the way back here. Which This is why I decided to save this for last. And we're going to give it a margin bottom. And let's give it something somewhat big. We'll say 50 pixels. Might be too small, actually. But we'll find out. And that should give it a space here. Okay, reload it. Voila, sure did. Uh, so now we have a space between uh, the section as well as the uh, uh, footer here. Okay, so that's everything for this tutorial. Um, on the next part, I'm actually going to do this part right here. On the next part of the tutorial, I'm going to show you how to have this pop-up come up. We're going to create it with HTML first. Uh, I think a little bit of styling in CSS, and then we're going straight into the JavaScript part. Uh, so the next part, um, we're doing some JavaScript, so don't get too scared. I hope to see you then. This is Travis signing out. See you next time.